Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing assumptions about me. So I asked you guys a while back what your assumptions were about me. I got a few. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. First one says, you look like you can't commute alone on a daily basis. I feel like that's a fair assumption because I've never really had to commute anywhere because I live near school so I just walk. Yeah, the only place I ever really need to go to school before. The most I've done in terms of commuting is like B2B and stuff. I know how to B2B alone. I don't think I've ever had to but like I've B2B with like friends and like my siblings and stuff adventurous i feel like it depends on the mood like there are definitely times where i can be more spontaneous sometimes i can be like especially when i'm with my friends i feel like i'm definitely that friend who encourages them to be like let's do this let's do school let's climb the street so <laughs> something like that yeah i would say i'm adventurous and i have like a big goals or dreams for myself snob i actually get that often not just from like people in the internet but also from people in real life and i can understand why i wouldn't necessarily consider myself a snob more like i'm too shy to say hi to people i like met once because like you know how people like when they see people they met once they're like hi but like me like if i'm not close to them like i'm too shy to be like hi and i'm not like ignoring them or anything it's just like i feel like a lot of people can relate to me like when you're in the mall then you see someone from school and you're just like i want to hide so that's me but apparently people think i'm a snob because i don't like you know say hi to everybody in the hallway or something but it's just me i think i'm just reserved in terms of like my extrovertedness next don't speak fully to Gaelic every day yeah i don't I speak English at home and I only stay at home so I speak English the entire day. Party animal. I wouldn't say I'm a party animal. I wish I was. Like honestly when I'm in a party I don't know what to do. Like I feel like I'm that person who's just annoying but not that annoying. Like I'm just minding my own business doing my own thing but I'm not like a party animal. I'm not like the center of attention or anything. Artsy. Yeah. I would consider myself artsy but I don't think I'm like a master of anything. When I was younger, I used to do a lot of pixel art and I think I got pretty good at that but I never continued it so that's that I have. I have also tried knitting, clay making, scrapbooking, journaling, painting, drawing, all of that stuff and I just never stick to it. I wish I did though because I could have improved my skills a lot but I really would consider myself as an artistic type because I enjoy making art stuff. High maintenance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pick me girl. Someone said pick me girl. Parenthesis. I'm sorry. Honestly, I don't think so. At least based on my definition of a pick me girl. Well, my definition of a pick me girl is like a girl who wants to say like, I'm not like other girls. I'm special. Blah, blah, blah. But I do think I'm like most girls. Like most girls have this. Most girls do this. Most girls dye their hair. And I'm fine with that. I'm not trying to be special or anything. And I'm not trying to stand out different from the people of my gender and I'm not trying to get the attention of any like guys to pick me so I don't think I am but you know maybe that's what a pick me would say sarcastic no I'm not someone said cares too much about your social media or influence reach and I wanted to talk about that I feel like those who follow my finsta will instantly think that I think too much of the views I get or the followers I have which is like the farthest from the truth because if you saw my old video when I took like a social media break, there was really a time where I cared about followers and like, and that stuff affected me. When I post about it on my Finsta, it's not necessarily like just because of the fact that I got little views. What matters to me is that my content is actually like watched or appreciated or something. Because if it's not, then I won't be motivated to make more because it's like no one's watching me. Maripoxa X maybe someone said good at sports and i find that super funny because i'm like the worst at sports ever which you wouldn't expect because all my siblings are like in sports like all my sisters did volleyball my brothers did basketball so you would expect me to be good at sports but in interrupts i'm that person who hides in the bathroom because i don't want to play or like when it's my turn to play i just disappear <laughs> like that would be me because I, I hated interrupts i hate sports i got like different responses like extrovert and introvert i would consider myself an ambivert in like every way i would say that i'm really extroverted when it comes to meeting new people like when i entered like like when i entered organizations like outside of school and stuff i would be so excited to meet new people from different schools because i didn't really know a lot of people from different schools 
So I was super extroverted and I would like talk to them a lot and I would be myself. But in like school and stuff, I would say I was more introverted. I don't know if that makes sense, but like it's when you like know of them, then you're more scared to introduce yourself. But when it's like a stranger or like outside school, I'm like excited to talk to them. So that's the big difference. Like in school, I, did, I didn't really feel like being extroverted. But yeah, outside of school, I was super extroverted. I'm a peely of food. I'm assuming that means picky eater. Yep, I am a super picky eater. Actually, for most of my life, I only ate chicken. And I couldn't eat fish, beef, pork, none of that. Until I was like 13. I remember when I was 13, I tried a burger for the first time and it was Wendy's. The first time I went to Japan, I never, like, I didn't eat any sushi because at that time I just didn't like any food besides chicken. You're a wild teen, like, party everywhere, kissing boys and all that shit. I don't think, <laughs> I think I'm the farthest thing from that. Because, like, whenever I like party, it's probably just with my four friends. You consider that a party. I just hang out with my friends. You will work abroad in the future. I want to actually live abroad. I'm not entirely set on what country yet, but I really wanted to live somewhere in Europe for like forever. And I hope one day I can do that. Konyo na matarai, probably. Matalino sa math. I actually think like I'm good at math. Like math was my favorite subject before because when I understand math, it like comes to <laughs> it like comes to me. Like I'm the type of person who loved math and hated science for some reason. But yeah, I like math. Math is fun. Someone who likes to keep her circle small and a low maintenance type friend. When I said I was high maintenance a while ago, I meant like in a relationship. But as a friend, I think I'm quite low maintenance. Like based on the friends I have now, I don't really need to talk to them every day or even every week or even every month. <laughs> like I don't really need that. I do really enjoy keeping my circle small. I only have like four of my closest friends plus like a few others. Yeah, I don't really like feel the need to like talk to more people than that. And I'm satisfied with the relationships in my life because I really believe in quality over quantity. Like what's the point of having so much friends if they're not really your friends? Dad Malakas Imanom, heavy drinker, alcoholic. No. Because of quarantine, like honestly like you just figure out like what's actually fun i feel like open to dating girls no <laughs> i feel like i get why people get that assumption though because like dyed hair if you dress colorfully and you're very individualistic and expressive with the stuff you do so i get why people would get that assumption definitely softy vulnerable weak <laughs> even yeah <laughs> i cry super easily like if somebody raises their voice even like a bit, I will start gearing up. I had a lot of ex-boyfriends. I had one <laughs> and it's Diego. Honor student. Yep, I'm an honor student. Very chill but kind of intimidating. I would say that a lot of people get intimidated with me because I would describe myself as the type of person who doesn't go out of my way to like be fake nice. If that makes sense. And I feel like some people hate that but that's really how I am like. You know those people who are like being close to everybody but actually they don't even like everybody? I'm I'm like not that. Like I feel like that's something I really noticed in high school. Like everybody's such a people pleaser. Will they get cancelled for this? And I didn't want to be that. Like that's why I kind of grew up in high school just hating it there. Like I was just like everyone's such a people pleaser. And I was also before but like yeah it was just not fun to be around. So a lot of people were intimidated because I wouldn't be that person to be like hi oh my gosh I love you blah 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 blah. So I was intimidating, but I am like super chill. Like if you just talk to me, we can be friends. Like you don't need to be scared. And it's also because I'm like taller, obviously. Like they're scared because of that. Like a lot of people told me that I'm intimidating because I'm tall. But that was my assumptions video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on this video so that my videos can go up and our family can go up.